Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're given that p of x is equal to f of x times g of x, and q of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x. We're looking to find the value of p, the derivative of p when x is equal to 2, and the derivative of q when x is equal to 7, given the graphs of f and g that are shown below. So, firstly, when we're finding the derivative of p at 2, let's just find the general form first. So, p of x is equal to f of x times g of x. Therefore, the derivative is equal to the is equal to f times the derivative of g plus g times the derivative of f. And this is the product rule. When we're finding it at x is equal to two, this is going to be f of two times the derivative of g at two plus g of two times the derivative of f at 2. And when we have the graphs of f and g below, plugging in, so f of 2 is this point right here, which is 3. The derivative of g at 2 is going to be on this line segment. So you can say, okay, we're going 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right, and 1, 2 up. Therefore, the slope is going to be 2 divided by 4, which is 1 half, plus g of 2 is this point right here, so that's 2, times the derivative of f at 2. Uh, we have this parabola here, so it's, it looks like it's going to be difficult until you realize that the derivative of f at 2 is looking at the vertex, which means the derivative is 0, since that's the point where it's going from negative to positive slope. So, calculating this, we have 3 times 1 half is 3 halves, plus 2 times 0 is 0, which means that the derivative of p at 2 is 3 halves. Now, calculating the derivative of q at 7, if q of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x, you can use the quotient rule to find the derivative of q. So we're going to have the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. Plugging in 7 here, we have g of 7 times f prime of 7 minus f of 7 times g prime of 7 over g of 7 squared. I should clarify, this is not... The derivative of g, it's just the, it's just g of x squared. Now just plug, find the points on the graph and plug them in. So g of 7, finding on this graph right here, is going to be this point right here, which is 1. The derivative of f at 7 is the slope of this line right here, where we go 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right, and 1 up. So it's 1 over 4 as your slope, rise over run, minus f of 7 is this point right here, which is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this might be a little bit clearer in your textbook where the graph is, the graph is more clearly drawn, but in this case we just have the hand-drawn graph, which is doing just fine, times the slope of g at 7, we can go 1, 2, down, 1, 2, 3 to the right. So it's negative 2 divided by 3. And then this is over the value of g um, when x is equal to 7, which we've already found as 1, and then just squared. So we're dividing by 1, so we can basically just ignore the denominator. So we have 1 times 1 fourth is 1 fourth. Minus 5 times a negative 2 thirds is plus 10 thirds. Simplifying this, if you multiply this by 3 over 3, multiply this by 4 over 4 to get a common denominator. So we get 3 times 1 is 3, over 3 times 4 is 12, plus 10 times 4 is 40, over 3 times 4 is 12. Now we have a common denominator, so add the numerators, 3 plus 40 is 43 over 12. So this is your answer for A, and this is your answer for B. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.